Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Small Saga. Last time we left off, we defeated the quote-unquote Kraken, and uh, someone mentioned in the comments, I believe it was Deku Lily, um, that uh, your name uh, is actually pronounced Chauvin. Uh, I looked up a few pronunciation guides for it, and yes, it is Irish in origin, and it's Chauvin. Um, it apparently means God is gracious, as far as I remember. Um, it reminds me of another Irish word that I learned, um, when I was playing Shin Megami Tensei. There's a demon in there, um, and you, you might have seen it before. It's spelled like S-I-D-H-E, and that's pronounced she. Um, and in, uh, Shin Megami Tensei, it was Lenan she. Uh, I had to look up that pronunciation as well. Apparently, Irish just naturally is difficult for me. But, uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I believe, um, Rita, a metropolis beneath the floorboards. If I remember correctly, um, Ir Ireland's, like, native language, like, just Irish language in general, is kind of, like, dying out, um, as far as I understand. Um, less and less people are speaking it. I love that Siobhan just constantly falls like that <laughs> and squeaks. But yeah, unfortunately, I've, I've, I've heard that, yeah, like, there's quite a bit of, like, kind of preservation of um, native Irish that uh, is needing to be done because, unfortunately, the language is just dying out, which is awful, obviously. This is Marita. Ah, this is it. Doesn't look as glamorous as I imagined. Oh, this is just a shipping district. Hold on, I'll walk you to the city center over that way. I'm still not going to try to do your accent. <laughs> like I said, if this was a voice acted game, I could just copy the voice. But, uh, yeah. Three seeds. Thank you. We're out of here, punks. We got merch to move. Okay, big old, big old town. Two seeds, thank you. Um... Can I jump down from the wall up there, possibly? Unless I can, like, swim somehow. Yeah, I don't know how else I would go about getting over there. Interesting. Nothing here. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wow, look at you! That's Ratless, the statue of the city center. <laughs> Ratless! Alright. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm meeting my, my, my friend and we're off to, to the Sky Garden. Look, Bruce. Play their stockings off. Will do. Thanks for all the help. Hey, maybe we'll meet again sometime. Maybe. Maybe. It's up to the gods. Take care. We got things to do here, too. I know. You're looking for leads on the yellow god. Sir Verm, I want to help, and I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm going to do some research at Marita's library. Library? Well, that's the best place to learn new things, right? Yup. There might be a book on the yellow god. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't my thing, so I'm headed to the royal palace. But the king knows a thing or two. Sir Verm, I don't think they let anybody have an audience with the king. Like, just anybody have an audience with the king. And think of that. You reckon there's a booking system or something? Maybe. Whatever. I'll go find out. Split up and be back here in a little while. Okay. Bye, Siobhan. But yeah, I think that's it. It's like show, and then you have to put some extra emphasis on the VA. So like, va. Mmm. Siobhan. Irish is so interesting, like the pronunciations and stuff. I really, really like it. It's a very, very interesting language, learning more about it and stuff, even if I'm not particularly great at it, but... Because um, the other the other one that I believe is Irish that recently got um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, attention was uh, Kachi, which uh, most people called Kate Sith, specifically the character in Final Fantasy VII. Um, it's pronounced Kachi, actually, and Final Fantasy VII basically was, were like in the new version of Final Fantasy VII Remake when they have other characters say it, they just call them Kate Sith because that was the one that people used for a long time. And a lot of people were like, it's actually Kachi. And yeah, I usually call it Kachi. Just uh, out of respect to Irish, so. Came here through the service tunnel, you absolute plonkers. But hey, guess you survived. Welcome to Marita. Nice leaf. What's in here? Heck, rude. <laughs> Stilton. Heck, rude. 
Love that. A spring onion. Two seeds. Can I fight with it like a far-fetched? Or is it just a healing item? A bit strong to eat raw. Recovers two. Ooh, okay. I can't, like, climb up there. And yeah, I, have, I was kind of hoping I could get, like, on the roof right here. And climb over there to get to the water. I don't know, there's got to be, like, a... Something we can drop at some point. Like, maybe we'll, we'll get the ability to, like, swim or something. Maybe we can get, like, a leaf boat. Or I can, like, I don't know, make a bridge or something. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's explore, though. Wish we had a field or something. There's no room here. You just look like me! You just look like young Verm! Gonna be captain of the Marita PC. Just you watch. Just got done my shopping. The merchant quarter's so convenient. Thank you, Sally, for that. And I can save at the big statue. Marble statue of Ratless. The giant rat angered the gods when he stole the secret of electricity. As punishment, he must hold an enormous weight until the end of time. So the true legend goes, at least. Ratless bears his burden. Save your game. Alright. Go ahead and save over here. Where's Sisyphus at? Pushing that, uh, pushing that ball, or that boulder up the hill. The Book Nook is a good name. That was a very good- oh god, this place looks massive. Can we have- can we have a, a, an area with like a little bit less? I think I need to go up here to, to go where Verm wanted to go. So at least to the Royal Palace. Be on your best behavior, citizen. Alright, Brandon. Okay, and this leads to the Merchant Quarter. Okay, I'm gonna go down here first. I think- oh no, I, I messed up your ball! Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, 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 let me- let me give it back to you. Here you are. Oh, oh, I'm so- I'm so sorry. I apologize. Out of my way, nerd. Shoom! <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, look! Wind in the Willows. Uh... Batchroconomy Amakia? <laughs> La Fontaine's Fables. Telling people this isn't a library, and yet people come in just to stand around reading our books. <laughs> See a book titled The Moonlight Mystery. Looks dark. The detective gazed at the scene. Blood splatters, claw marks, furniture torn in two. All the classic all marks of a titan attack, just like the old mole had said. Something didn't add up. Why did the victim reach for the silver knife instead of a steel sword unless... Shiver shot down the detective's spine, and a whisper passed through his teeth. Through her teeth. Muswolf. Muswolf, huh? Who is that back there? That very tall person in a trench coat. Also, you said this isn't a library? Okay. Uh, what, do you sell books here? Specifically? Starcrawl Squirrels. Oh, dearest Sheena, I long to once again feel thy embrace, and yet I fret our love cannot be so, for squirrels gray and red cannot be wed, lest our fathers clash in battle throw. Clans gray and red are not but shades, mere dye upon an artist's canvas. If color stands before our love, then I renounce my father's hue. Come take my paw, dear Mariette, and let us paint a color new. Oh. Some, uh, some Romeo and Juliet shit. You see a book titled The Destitute. It's heavy. Sir Yox, uh, Sir Jock threw a ragged vole at the Lord Master's feet. I caught the scum making off into the night with a bag of your seeds. The lore master shook his head. Why this rodent is no thief? I gave him those seeds as a parting gift. Sir Jacques let out a huff. He turned to his prisoner. It seems that the lore master has saved your tale today, but mark my words, I've got my eye on you, Vol'jean. Alrighty. I'm here just to smell the books. Mm, love that new book scent. Also, let's see. A little bit of a different spin on Romeo and Juliet. Because those seem like two feminine names. So, yay! You see a book titled Mouse Wife Missives, a tale of lust and longing. Uh oh. This isn't. This isn't the Lusty Argonian Maid, is it? The cover is enticing, but now is not the time to read this. <laughs> is this the Lusty Argonian Maid? Ground floor fiction, not first floor nonfiction. Reminder if you eat it, you buy <laughs> I love the stairs being books. You see a book titled Nora's Fall by Loremaster Tobin. Shrew Empress Nora was born in the twilight years of the Golden Laurel Empire, era marked by rampant inflation, unprecedented austerity, and endless plagues. 
Citizens of Meridium called for respite from their squalor, but Nora had none to offer. The mice are hungry. They can eat their thatched wolves, the Empress famously muttered. Uh, thatched roofs. On a late summer day, tensions came to a boil. Citizens pounded on the palace doors and demanded justice. The senators, led by Senator Decimus, were happy to oblige. Speaking to the crowd, Decimus announced, denounced Nora as the sole source of the citizens' ills. He proposed that to assess Nora's guilt, she be put through a trial by fire, an arcane test even for its time. The Imperial Guards constructed a great pyre of timber and straw in Meridium's city square. They tied Nora to its central mast. With a single spark, the pyre ignited and the crowd let loose a raucous cheer. Fire ate its fair share, but it hungered for more. Flames danced from pyre to haystack, from haystack to roof, and soon the whole city was ablaze. The damage caused by the Great Fire Trial was immense. Meridium burned to the ground, thousands of rodents died, and millions were displaced. The godly city above, too, suffered greatly. Thus, the great Golden Laurel Empire was reduced to ash. Oof. Being burned alive is a rough way to go. See a book titled James Ascent. When the flames of the Great Fire Trial grew beyond control, the Imperial soldiers were the first to scatter and flee, leaving the Meridium citizens to a, burn a blazing demise. But then, a mouse peasant called Artura stepped forward. She rounded up a dozen of her peers, James Vish Vishruvius, and Grace the Red among them, and demonstrated how to fashion a smoke-proof mask from a thimble and a dampened cloth. The group set to work putting out fires and directing others to safety. The fire consumed Meridium and much of Redentia. However, thanks to Artura's quick and selfless actions, thousands of lives were saved from a horrific demise. In the following days, once the ash had settled and the tears had been shed, the people of Meridium nominated Artura to lead the city as the first in a new line of monarchs, but she declined the offer, nominating James the Black Rat in her stead. Thus, James was crowned as the first King of Rodentia, with Artura serving as both Blade Master and founder of the aptly named Thimbleguard. Out of the ashes of Meridium, the modern city of Merida was constructed. Since James's crowning, the Blue Rat Monarchy has reigned over Redentia for over 300 years. Why exactly Artura declined the throne will perhaps forever be a mystery. See a book titled Delicious Mouse Recipes by Jan Olive. Dinner for one, one piece of penne, one small tomato, one acorn cup of water, salt, pepper, basil, and oregano to taste. Yay, yummy. What about the... Well, it's, it's just an acorn cup of water. But everything else sounds fine. Panay with tomato, salt, pepper, basil, and oregano. Yep. Uh, God's life and death. As a lore master who has dedicated her life to studying the behavior of gods, the most common question I get asked is, are the gods mortal? Controversial subject to be sure, but there are verified wit but there are verified witness accounts of gods succumbing to death by sickness, grievous carriage, injury, and even old age. The second most common question I get is, how do the gods reproduce? To which I answer, noisily. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for a world of mice, yeah, I bet it's extra loud. Hi, or a, a world of rodents, rather. Aquila, sellsword. Shoo, I have no time for you. Rude. I'll have you know I'm no sellsword, I'm a cell pocket knife. I'm here just to smell the books. Mm, love that new book scent. So, isn't this where, uh, Siobhan said sh um, she was going? Hi. God's above us and never stop hooting and jeering. Makes it hard to get some shut-eye. Hi. This cube cost me 2,000 seeds a month and it doesn't even come with a loo. Oh, no. Sniff, squ strive, and squeak instead of live, love, laugh. Oh, God. And also, you're talking about housing prices, and I just robbed you. Hey, you're gonna rob people. Ever thought about being a landlord? <laughs> yeah, landlord hate. I'm down. <laughs> it's not just for cassette beasts. Cool. Yeah, no, I know about you with housing prices and staying in the price for staying places, friend. It's rough right now, especially. Ooh. Alright. I'm hustling this sucker. I think I'm being hustled. <laughs> Are you? What's the rush? Stay around a while, zippy. Waiting for my Lapa. He should be here any moment. Lapa? Where I'm from, it means paw, but it also means how to say it. Darling? 
Ah, got it. Ah, you're waiting for your boo. Alright. You recognize this as knife darts, the most dangerous game. Oh my god, look at the tap in the can of soda. Or like beer. Doesn't look like a beer can though, it looks more like a soda can. Take requests, what are you in the mood for? Uh, something catchy. Alright. Hope you're ready, because this little ditty's a real earworm. What? I didn't expect it to be vocals. This is a good song. I like this. I wish I could. Here. Hello, be friend. About the house special. Eight seats for a pint. I'll play here on your tail. Aw, yes. Sounds good. I'll take one. Pint a special grog. Enjoy. Don't go trying to ride a god carriage while inebriated now, you hear me? Trouble with Twisted Tales and Establishment for everyone. Hell yeah. It is a good song. Bart is lost in song, so yeah. I can't choose another one. Can I... Okay, yeah, and that, that resets it. Can I go in and tell you to sing a different one, maybe, now? Uh, Heroic Tale. What's this one sound like? It's of courage, it's of chivalry. This is cool. I like this a whole lot. Hit me with it. Saw the mouse named Leo and his chivalrous act so brave. A titan slayer, a bold and valiant, equal to any foe who challenges God's forged needle blade. Makes me feel like I'm at the Rin Fest. I like it a lot. <laughs> all right, cool. We don't have to listen to all of them, and we don't have to listen to all of it. But those are cool. I like those a lot. That is fun. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the, that's, yeah. Sorry, friend. Crazy prices. Young King Titan's Border, a win for the people. Hmm. One can't help but wonder. Uh, ooh. Grim Alley, heck! Again with the hex. Hi. Psst. Hey, kid. Buy something? Special? What you got? Hmm, you're a fighter, right? So how about a berserker mushroom? Water voles, uh, Scanvic, eat him before battle. True facts. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I saw in um, what's it called, uh, Vinland Saga, and I've never seen it before. But the idea of using a mushroom that like makes you go berserk. One mushroom's eight seeds. All right, let's do this. Received an odd mushroom. Was was this transaction legal? Because you're doing business. I mean, if I'm, if I'm a berserker, I need it. Um. Also, is that special grog I got? Oh my god, it is. Fortified beyond all reason. Heals 10, may have side effects. Should you really eat this? Okay, we're giving we're giving this to you. For sure. You need your berserk mushroom. It'll be interesting to find out what the side effects are. Commit no nuisance. Don't tell me what to do. I'll commit all the nuisances I want. My life is a nuisance. Hi. That's working late again. Wait, what you got there? My sword? Not that, no, not that stupid thing. A piece of paper, is it a drawing? Ooh, tr the treasure map. This? The map. Can't make whisker nor tail of it, though. Wow, cool, it's got an X, just like it's marking some pirate's treasure. Sure, it's just like that. Looks like the maps of the kingdom I've seen in school. Big Blue Squiggle is the King's River, and Merida's over here just next to it. The X is way over there in the northeast. Alright, so north is up. Did you miss a class in school or something? <laughs> Never went. Wow, lucky. New location has been added to your map. Ooh. Neato. It's a kid's drawing. You have no idea who these people are. Okay, cool. So I, when I get back to the world map with the pigeon, I can go there? Thanks, I just want to rob you after you helped me. I should be paying you. Mushroom? Oh my god, look at that character. 
Look at you. OC? Hi. All quiet and gutter end today. So if it stays that way. Mind me, just taking a break from the youngins, all 14 of them. Run along, scamp, before I put the boots to you. Just pulling your whiskers. Okay, what's going on in here? 14 kids? Huh. <sighs> Wanna join the Thimble Guard someday. Could be a real hero, like Math, Well, or Diego, or Leo. Can't afford the fees, I'll stick to my family business. Fees? Well, you have to pay a fee to join the Guard? Sort of. You have to pay to get the proper certifications and equipment and stuff. It's not much for nobles, but it's quite a bit for us gutter folk. Let's see. Oh, I'm waffling. Did you want something? No, oh, I'm just looking around. Alright. You have anything for me to steal? No? Gotta take my hero tax, you know? I'm the hero of this adventure, so you are obligated to pay me money. Okay. Aha. This is how we get up here. Like the tape measure. Got her a real pain in the tail. I barely leave my shack without being stopped and searched. Okay. God, it's so tough. Just a bunch of top, uh, tops playing soldier. Alright, I'm gonna run across this tape measure. Shoe. Yeah, I live in a shoe. It stinks, but the rent's an absolute bargain. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you do you. You do you. Isn't there a, like, like, kid's story about, um, a mouse that lives in a shoe? Or am I being crazy? Hi. Ooh, this looks yummy. Found a sprig of coriander. How fragrant. Um, yep. Smells soapy. Recover all status ailments. Useful. Welcome, mouse, to my humble little restaurant. Tell me, do you appreciate the fine pleasure of gourmet cuisine? I also appreciate the fine pleasure of stealing ingredients from you. Sure. It's great. Ah, connoisseur. If you bring me rare ingredients, I can craft dishes that transcend the usual meridian swill. I can make... The food of the gods. Okay. What dish to start with? Hmm. Perhaps a delicate nut flour cookie with just a hint of rose water. Bring me a pistachio and I shall make for you goriba. Okay. Pistachio. I need to bring you a pistachio. Got it. I will attempt to find a pistachio and return to you once I have obtained one. I love some pistachios. Mm. God, pistachios are great. Alright, let's, uh... Wait, how do I actually get up there to talk to you? Hey, friend. How do I get up there? Huh. This leads to the gatehouse. Palace must be in the other direction. How do I... I don't suppose I could have jumped from over there to get to you? I don't know if I can get to you. You're just fishing in a can. Oh god, there's a recorder right there. Ugh. The memories. I don't want to go back. Uh, notice I can immediately jump up here. Ooh, you look cool. I like your little, uh, ribbon on your tail. Ha-ha! You! Abazado? Who? You, you're late. For, for what? Are you not the apprentice I requested? Uh, d no. Oh ho! You've been on the clock for five seconds and already you're trying to shirk your duties. Admirable, but uh, Abazato, the merchant extraordinaire, not so easily fooled. Listen well, my apprentice. The stock market at Canard's Wharf who has a package for me. Retrieve it, then I'll reward you with a seed or two. Fine. Whenever seeds a seed. Ha 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 ha, but no peeking. If you get the package, then you shan't be paid even a threepence. Alright, the wharf you said. It's not far at all. Anything to steal? There's a dock worker, but over there. Okay. Hi. So bored. Merchant quarter used to be bus bursting with life, but then we were hit with that plague. Taming of the shrew, delayed due to plague. Of the bubonic variety? Well, no, we have a pocket knife, so there's no way. <laughs> that was a stupid question. <laughs> we have a pocket knife, and we've seen that supermarkets exist. Why would it be the bubonic plague? Oi, sword boy. Scared of spiders? Nope. Nothing I can't handle, why? Oh, no reason. Just <laughs> like, well, like, this world feels like more... I guess not. There's like rulers and shit. That was just stupid of me. <laughs> 
We're running around with swords and talking about knights and stuff, so it had me thinking medieval things, okay? Spider squatter. Oh, they're friendly. Friendly spoder. Hi. Spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Does... Does the spider want some food? Offer the spider an insect part? Yeah! You offer the insect part. Spider throws 10 seeds at you. Ooh, thank you! Offer the spider another insect part? I don't have another insect part, but... Size dejectedly. Okay, so I can come and feed you insect parts and get seeds as a reward. That's good to know. You look cool! Talk to me! I want to talk to that character. They look cool. Alright, well, let's jump down here. Fashion? Okay. Alright, what are these? Pistachio. Excuse me, are you looking to buy some, uh, delicious fustuk halabi? Fustuk? It was delicious nut. Very nutritious and filling. Oh, pistachios. I've eaten one of those before. I'm bad. Not like this. Personally shipped them from my home overseas. Their flavor far surpasses the kind native to Merida. Rich and creamy, delicious by themselves, or ground into a gariba biscuit. Make a good pitch. How much? Seven seeds each. Yeah. Yes. Many thanks. It's been a pleasure doing business. Yes, we leave. We go get my pistachio. My, or my, my gariba. Oh, I'm so sorry, kid. Um... You were... No, this is the alleyway with the creep. Here. There we go. No? This wasn't you. You were down here. Yeah, this over here, or was it up there? No, it's up there. God, we gotta go all the way up there. Run across the tape measure. You know you have the most pain in the ass to get to location for your shop. It's my onions and garlic sizzling in golden olive oil. Mm. Yummy. Use your pistachio. Excellent, it smells divine. You must have traveled far to procure it. I was selling them up the road. Such humility, 10 seconds if you please. Vi works some, or V, Vi, I'll be V, works uh, some almond flour into a paste, then adds crumbs of pistachio and a single drop of rose water, bakes the dough in a blazing wood oven, and aroma of sweet and floral biscuits fills the air. Voila, gariba. Gariba cookie, it smells divine. Next, perhaps a hearty steamed vegetable dumpling with a sesame dip. Bring me a peanut and a spring onion, and I will make for you a bouncy. Bowsy. Okay. I have both of those. I have this. Ooh, heals 20. Okay. I, given how expensive these items are, I have to imagine they are not one-time use. Like, I would be shocked, considering I'm spending so much on them. Of course, I haven't had to use one yet, but... Still, I would... It feels like something you could just keep using, maybe, possibly. You know? Like, multiple uses, maybe? Here you go. Magnificent! Moment, if you please. Rise the spring onion and a drop of sesame oil, along with a pot full of vegetables and some soy sauce. He pours the mixture into a sheet of dough, carefully folds them into a ball, and then... Whoa, that's a lot of steam. God, that sounds yummy. Voila! Bouncy! Smells divine. I want to try to make my magnum opus my ultimate dish. See, I had a dream once. Dream of a forbidden food, a food not even the gods would dare to make. Cookie base encompassing a salad, all in the shape of a paw? Picture it, dessert and greens all in one meal. That sounds... odd. Dream big, my friend, but I'll need something special. Give me high quality chocolate and I will make for you the king's paw. High quality chocolate I do not have. Okay, so my, my bowel? Flawless dumpling. Oh my god. That seems quite good. Yeah, if these are single-use items, god, I would feel- I would- I would feel like any time I used it, it would be a massive waste. Which is probably not true, even if they are a one-time use thing. If they're one-time use, there's gotta be a reason for it. That is a needle in a haystack, I understand the- the joke. Okay. So, I think we just have to continue here now. So, I think we should probably just go ahead and save and end this episode off here, so. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.